Hello, and welcome to the summer section of CS11 Introduction to Programming with C++. My name is Steve Hodges, and in this short video I have a couple of suggestions for how you can be successful in this class, and I wanted to highlight one useful document that I've created for you. Normally we teach CS11 in 16 weeks, and we're going to be doing it in only 8. That gives you a lot less time to learn and practice the concepts that we're going to be working with in this course. Now, I've designed this specific version of CS11 to be successful in, in only eight weeks. Still, this course is going to have a pretty fast pace, and so you want to make sure you're ready for that. Your top strategies for being successful are not to fall behind. We have lots of material and content, and spend lots of time writing programs. You're going to have the textbook, you're going to have my um, lectures and lab assignments where we work on programs together, but past that there are, are lots of concepts and when you are reading the textbook or hearing the lecture and you read about something new, that's a great time to stop and write a practice program to test that concept. In order to uh, help you not to fall behind, I've created a document that I'm calling the content calendar which you'll find in the course documents section and it's basically a checklist of the different things that you have to do during the various weeks including which lectures you should be watching and labs and where you should be reading. It does list the various things that are due with an asterisk to remind you that something is going to be due that week for the specific due dates of the programming assignments and the midterm and final exams make sure to check the calendar. The other way that you can make sure that you're staying current is by participating in the online discussion. I'm hoping that this class will have a vibrant online discussion. If you have questions and want to contact me, I encourage you to post those questions so that when I answer them, when we can be answering it for the whole class. You may feel that your question is dumb or you know that you're embarrassed to ask it. I'm sure that if you've have a question that at least somebody else in the class will have the same question and they will and I will very much appreciate the fact that you're posting your questions online and I'll reward you with points. So that was just a few quick suggestions for getting started and the regular introduction to this class begins with lecture number one. One last reminder, the first programming assignment is due in only four days so you need to get started right away. I look forward to working with you online, so hope to see you soon.